What's up guys, this is Jonathan with South Coast Designs. Today we'll be doing a video on my YouTube lighting setup. If you're interested in any of the products, make sure to check out the links below. My lighting setup now is these three soft boxes. In the past I used to use what I had available to me. Ambient light, desk lamp, and most of the time I use flashlights pointed up at the ceiling and at different points in the room. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing an assembly of this lighting setup, and a quick demo at the end. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Here's the case. It's really nice, but really, once you unpack this, you'll never put it away. So in this case, you'll have what you expect. Three hoods, three head units, three stands, soft diffusers, the rods that hold those things to the head unit, and the lights themselves. I mainly chose the setup one because it had three soft boxes and also because it had this head unit. It carries four lights and with two switches which controls two lights at a time. So you can have two lights or four lights depending on your lighting situation. Okay, these things come with seven foot light stands and these things are nice and sturdy once they're set up even at their full extension. So all you do is hook the head unit to the stand and like I said that two switch design makes it great so you can adjust what you output. If you want to use the lighting for more straight direct light you can use this setup right here or you can put the soft box like you'll probably use in most situations. Okay so now you know what it looks like all put together Let's go ahead and dive in and do the assembly, which is pretty simple. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, I already have the stand and head unit attached. Here's the hood. You have the inner and outer soft box setup. You also have the rods that stick on the head unit to spread the hood over. The main trick for this is that you have to take the head unit off put the hood down, reattach the head unit, and then put your rods in the four corners that the head unit has. All you do is stretch the hood over to the four points, install your lights. These things are great, they're 45 watt regular and about 150 equivalent. So you have four of those and that's great. Now go ahead and put your inner diffuser in. You can use it just like this to have more harsh light like I show right here or like I like to have the main setup where you put the outer diffuser to. On some of the cheaper units you'll just have this outer diffuser and then you'll see more harsh spots on your uh, your setup but having this inner inner liner is really nice and all you do is just stretch the soft box material around the whole unit and it has velcro to hold it in and there it is it's finished now you just rinse repeat two more times and then you have three soft boxes. This is a great setup to have. I came from using, like I said, desk lamps and flashlights, but you use what you got. I usually set this kit up with a light on either side of the product and one light right next to the camera. That gives it that no shadow look and it also helps the video from being grainy versus using desk lamps. So as you see here in this shot, I put two soft boxes on the right and one on the left. That's not really ideal. It's best to put one right next to the camera, like I said, and one on either side. It gives you a better look instead of having this really harsh light to the right. Thank you again, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. And join the South Coast Design family. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.